welcome back to Hungry for Adventure. On this adventure, we're here to show you some of our favorite Korean food at Seonnongdan. This place is uh, famous for their Korean braised short ribs that they top with cheese and like torch in front of you so it's all melty and gooey and spicy and then they also have a lot of Korean soups and um, we're here at the Roland Heights location but there's actually four in the LA area there's two in Koreatown including like a brand new one um, on Western and then and then there's uh, the San Gabriel and this location and they're all open 24 hours because uh, the, some of the soups are considered like breakfast food so come with us on this adventure So we ordered the kalbi jim, that's the braised short rib dish. They here it's it's cool because they do like spicy ones. So then there's the classic soy if you can't handle spice, and then they have spicy and they have like a bunch of levels. We got it medium spicy because we're a little scared. Um, and then we added cheese. And this dish is like super famous. Like Jonathan Gold wrote about it in the uh, LA Times, and then like. David Chang has like a kaibichi dish on his menu that he based on this because he loves it so much. And then we also got a soup to share. We got what we call the wangi tang, and that one comes with short rib, ox knee, and ox tail. And uh, it's a little different from like the the clear like the it's more of a clear broth than like a milky white broth, but it's, it's really flavorful. I'm excited for the food. I really like the panchan here. Um, this one's like kind of a green onion uh, with like red pepper flakes that's really good and the kimchi is really good and then the gaktugi which is the radish kimchi is also really good. All three of them, it's, it's not like a big variety but it's all, all really tasty. The rice is, um, if you ask for brown rice, it's actually like a purple rice. And they give you dipping sauce for your meat. When you get your uh, soups, it'll, a lot of the soups come with like beef, so it has a little dipping sauce for that. All right, let's try some of the soup. The broth is not as milky white as like a solongtang, which is like the bone broth, but it's tasty. I love that they put a lot of green onions in there. It gives you a lot of flavor. And low key, one of my favorite things is the little like jujube that's in there, which I'll eat towards the end. Mm. So these pieces of meat, pro tip, you dip it in the um, dipping sauce that they give you right here. Mmm, so good. And traditionally with these types of broth, you actually eat it with radish kimchi, but their regular kimchi here is really good too. Mm. I like this soup specifically here because it's similar to the Sanong Tang, but it comes with like some of my favorite parts, which are like the oxtail, like this, this nice piece, and it comes with like the short rib and the, the knee. Mmm, the oxtail so tender. Mm. And low key, one of my favorite parts is the knee. This is like, Basically, it looks like tendon. It's super gelatinous. And like, not everyone will love this texture, but I personally do. It just almost feels like tendon or like bone marrow, where it's kind of like gelatinous and soft and just kind of fatty. So, I'm gonna go enjoy the soup now. And then, yeah, 
dig into this so they cut off the kairi from the bones to make it easier to eat this one's covered with yummy yummy cheese mm. Mm. wow so we ordered a medium spicy in the past we ordered it spicy spicy and it makes it a lot more difficult to eat because it was spice kind of slows you down, but this is like the perfect amount of heat for me where it's still very enjoyable. And then the cheese actually helps like tone down the spices a little bit too. And I also love like the little rice cakes they give you. Mm. Nice and soft and chewy. There's like carrots, there's radishes. It's, it's, a, it's a whole thing. I love this thing. Mm, so good. You guys have to try this. My pro tip is make sure you get some of the sauce and get it into your rice. And you have like flavorful sauce for rice. Also, this panchan, this side dish, the green onion one, goes really well with the meat. The meat went off the bone actually. Mm. Mm. And the meat is so tender. It's it's hard to beat. There's a lot of places that would try to copy this or do something similar. And the ones I've tried I haven't quite measured up yet. So this is the OG. Mm. Another thing to note is that all the locations, but specifically the Koreatown locations, get really busy. So you want to make sure um, you allot yourself some time to wait. The lines can get kind of crazy, so. And I can see why it's that good. always ask me how I finished all this food that we put on these videos <laughs> and the truth is we don't this is like this is enough food to I think share with a couple more people so we're gonna take this home you just need to kind of stick it in the oven to have that cheese melt later to reheat so good I'm gonna dream about this till the next time I come Overall, the food is amazing. We're stuffed. Gotta go home and get the baby. But thank you for joining us on this adventure. Please comment down below if you have any other like Korean dishes or Korean restaurants that you want us to try. And if you uh, like this place, give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe. See you on our next adventure.